Hey guys, it's Gwen Fox, and I'm glad you're here. Before we get into the video, the demo, I wanted to tell you about two workshops that I'm going to be doing next week online, and I thought you would be interested at least knowing about them because several of you expressed interest in studying with me. And the first one is going to be through the uh, Penn Studio School of Art, and it's going to be October the 4th. 11th and the 18th. That's a Friday. So it's every Friday uh, for those three weeks. And it's going to be from 10 to 1 Eastern Standard Time. The name of the workshop is Abstracting the Landscape of Your Mind. And I love teaching this one because it's fascinating. And there's going to be lots of one-on-one. -on -one. It's, I mean, I believe in one-on-one. -on -one. I believe in really getting to know you and for you to ask questions, and it's going to be so much fun. So that is, um, as I say, October the 4th, 11th, 18th, and I have the link so you could go check it out, read all about it. Now, the second workshop is going to be, a, it's a workshop, a weekend workshop, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and that is through Masters, which is a Canadian um, school of art. And I'm going to be doing it with my good friend, Lynette Mel Melnick. She's a fabulous, fabulous artist, and I love her to death. It, she, we're just we're going to have so much fun on this. And it's how to get out of the messy middle part of your painting. And we all know what that's like. It's not any fun. So that is going to be October the 5th and 6th. That's a, as I said, Saturday and Sunday. And it's going to be Eastern Standard Time, 11 to 3. I hope to see you there. I would love to chat with you, find out about you and your art. If you've got any questions, just let me know. And uh, we'll go from there. But enjoy the video. I'll see you over there. Bye. Hey, guys. I know that I spent the last time talking about the fact that I had no idea what I was doing. Now we're going to get down to the nitty gritty because now that I've got a basis down here, I can do something with it. So this is what I've decided to do this time. I'm going to take regular white chalk. This is fairly dry because it's been a week. This is thin paint. So I have decided, okay, here's my center of interest and I'm going to kind of draw on it here. Uh, again, here is my center of interest. Now, I don't like this, so I think what I'm going to do is do it this way. I'm going to take this over. I don't like it over this far for the simple reason that it it's too crowded. I, for some reason, I just don't like it. I don't care for this being here. Here's my the bottom of mine. Here's the top. So I'm going to bring my dark up to about here going to bring this down to here. Um, center of interest, I'm going to bring a dark over here, so maybe bring it to here, bring it down, and then maybe bring it all the way down. Now these are just maybes. So you kind of see what I'm doing here. Now, it was, it was brought out uh, I think it was by Lynn, thank you, Lynn, that I have two shapes the same size, which are absolutely correct. And so this is, this is when you correct all of these things that you just don't, you don't see, because all you're doing is putting down things. So now what I'm going to do is put, I'm going to put some white in here. Take it all the way over. And do I want the white there? I, you know, I don't know. I may cover it up. But right now, I've got to make a decision on something. And this is going to be my decision. All right. Maybe I'll bring it all the way over. Who knows? 
Who knows? Anyway, so I have a good time with that paint. I really do. I have a very good time. So this is going to be more of this color that, and then I'm going to bring this down. I may leave some of that, though. Why not? You've got that underneath. Let it show. Don't um, feel like you've got to cover it up. You've got it there. You could always cover it up later, but you can't get it back. Remember that, because that's real important. If I want to keep it that way, that's great. If I don't, I'm putting more layers in really thin. I'm trying to develop a design. This is, this is my whole thought here. So now I've got to get some darks in. And I've got to get some punch. I need my darks. So let's put this one in. Let's get this one in up here. I am mixing uh, asphaltum with black, and I may go over it. Who knows? So now we've got we've got this supporting this, and I may make it a little thicker, but I don't want it as thick as this over here. Got to think of all these things as you're going along. So now if I'm going to support my center of interest here, I do want my dark here. So I'm going to keep that, but I might take it over. Remember now I've made this as an, at an angle. So... Maybe this is what I want to do here. Now notice, I'm going to leave a lot of what I've got underneath. And that's too much, that's too much gamsol on there. So you can see the, the uh, asphaltum there. And I think what I'm going to do is, notice that I'm painting on the side of my brush. I'm not painting this way. I'm painting on the side. And the side, to me, just gives it a little bit better, a little bit better uh, support. Uh, I can get the edges, I can do the edges better. Oh. I just feel I can do the edges better. I can get softer edges. I've got the green that I that we started out with. And let's put a little green in this, do some blending, mix it, get a nice color. Going here, I'm gonna leave a little bit of that. It's so much fun, guys, just blend, just have a good time. Let's bring in some of this pink that I don't normally use. Got some different colors here. All right, so now we're going to come in with some, some of my favorite color, which is the transparent orange. Love that color. And know that, hey, listen, you, you're, you're playing along here. You're trying to find a design. You're trying to figure out how can I make this really nice. Maybe I want this this color. That's kind of nice. Um, and you can always come in and wipe it off a little bit. But now we're getting some substance here. So now, where do we need more substance? Um, kind of have just a little mirror showing there. Maybe not much. Maybe not anything. Who knows? 
Maybe I don't like it. Over there. All right, so now we need support down here. This needs to be supported. Notice that I have not even done anything around my center of interest. Maybe we need to do that. Maybe, maybe, maybe we need to do that. I need some more white. So, I'm going to add some more white. It's got a little of the uh, transparent orange in it because I have not totally rinsed out my brush. And I don't mind that. That's fine. I don't mind it. It's all okay. Will I keep it like this? I don't know. You guys have to kind of tell me, too. I love your comments, by the way. I think you need this. I think you need that. This is, this is causing you to think, which in turn helps everybody. Because people are reading your notes and saying, I hadn't noticed that. And this is, this is the beauty of it, of painting together and, and deciding, hey, maybe I need to do that. Now, see, I am just mixing some of this all along so that it's not a solid color. It's a mixture. See, and I like these little squirrely cues. I think they're really cool. I like them a lot. Adding some of the blue going to have to add some blue up here. It's coming, guys. It's coming. It's... May not be there yet, but it is coming. It's beginning to show a personality. And this is what we want. We want a personality. We don't want to boring painting. We want something with a little personality that says, this is who you are. This is you. This is you. This is... This is you, Jane, or Bill, or whatever. It's... Um, it's important. Now, this is standing out like a sore thumb. So I think we need to tone it down just a little bit. Maybe leave a little bit, but tone it down. And the other thing that I think it's time to do is to maybe bring out my handy dandy. And by the way, I found the I found some really tough ones. These are very, very Sturdy. Now, you know, I may need some more layers on here. I may not like what I've got. I may not like this at all. But the other thing I'm going to do is I am going to now come in with the squeegee and I'm going to See if it'll bring out some of these under. I don't have it quite enough, I think. I don't, and it's too thin. But we can always take care of that. don't want a solid line over there. I want the soft. Yeah, let's just mess this up a little bit because it's too, too hard of a line on these places. Now we're getting to like this, getting to like it.
If you've got questions on how I do something, please let me know. And I want you to know that I am doing two workshops of which if you want to study with me at all, these are going to be fabulous workshops that you will have a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. And um, I'm announcing that so you can get that information and go look at it to see if that's something that you might be interested in. I would love to have you. I'd love to meet you. And um, let's do it. I would... I think that would be so much fun to be able to meet some of you that make comments that say, oh, I like this or I don't like that, because I like that. I think it's, as I say, you're participating. You learn when you're participating. Now, this I'm not keen on. So I will bring it down. Notice that I'm not using my brush right now. I'm using mostly the uh, squeegee. Now, this down here, I've kind of left. It's not showing up as well. Uh, it's not quite finished. I want to get this white. And then, you know, then what you have to do, too, is you have to put it up, look at it, and say, what would I change? Where does it need to be changed? And that's what we're going to do at the next session because uh, it, I very seldom get it all right the first time. It just doesn't happen with me. So much fun. fun. So much fun. Now let's take this and see. Now, some of this I don't like. So it's too rough. So I very lightly come over it. Get rid of some of that. Now, I'm probably going to change, I'm going to change some of this down here, but I'm going to wait and look at it because this is at the critical stage. Where do I, do I add anything? I need some more darks. I need some more, um, I need to hold this together some way. And so I've got to figure this out. And the only way I figure it out, everybody's different, is that I look at it and see it different times during the day. Now, look, I've got this. See what I've got? I've got equal space there. And so that's not good. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to change that. It's getting there, guys. It's getting there. Um, hmm. 
Now, what else would I do? Now, I've ended some of these at the same spot. Don't want that. Some of them are interesting, some of them are not. Get rid of those that are not interesting. Now what I'm gonna do is just let it sit and see what I can find that I think needs to be done with it. And in the meantime, you know, you, you've got to look and ask yourself questions. You know, what would I do with this? Is this, is this a good, is this good, what I'm doing right now? Is this needed? I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Maybe what I want to do now is to come in and remove some of this, which I can do. Got to trust your gut. And so this, what I am seeing is that this needs to be really darkened. But I am, I'm seriously going to put this aside just because I'm going to sit here and continue it. And not, I've got to get away at a distance. And so do you, because this is very crucial that you know what you're doing. You know what it looks like from a distance. It looks totally different up close. So go paint let me know what you think. Where do I need to do what? I, as I say, I love your comments. Love, love, love them. And maybe I need to do lots of changes. Maybe I need to bring this all the way down. Maybe I don't need. Maybe I don't. I like that better. See, see I, I can't quit either. So don't feel bad when you can't quit. But you can, you can actually win. See, now I like that better. I like that much better. And I think what I need to do here is to bring in some real strong color. Okay, I promise I'm gonna quit. I tell my students, quit before you overdo it and kill it. So that's what I'm going to do. It's end up killing it if I'm not careful here. So I'm going to now take this, and then we will finish it on the next video, and we'll talk about why I did what and how I how I did this. And we'll take the tape off so you can actually see it. Anyway, leave your comments. I love you. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And don't forget, look at the, the workshops that I'm offering because I'm serious. I would love to meet you. Talk to you then. Bye.